Here's my question for you, David. Does a strong core rate of inflation imply that consumer price inflation goes up in the future? Well, no. Core just means they take out food and energy. Consumers pay for food and energy. Energy prices were down 0.8% on the month. They're down 4% on the year. Food prices are only up 2% on the year. So that's why the core is higher than the headline, because food and energy prices have come down more than other prices. That's a good thing for consumers. Um, I want to point out to Warren's point that the futures market is saying less chance of a half-point cut in September. But now it's just moved into November. It's a greater chance of a half point cut in November. We're getting one point cut by the end of the year, one way or the other. Show me DJT down big last night after the debate. The betting market seems to think that Harris won. Is that a bad sign for Trump? Bad sign for the market? Um, The issue with this stock is separate from me. That stock's going to zero. I've said it a hundred times and everybody knows it. But listen, it's not really about Trump's presidential possibilities with that stock. The betting markets for who's going to win the election went in Harris's favor as well. Mm. And, you know, the polls are going to say what they're going to say. I think your mark was right. The question is not really who won the debate last night. It's whether or not it's going to matter to swing state voters. Got it. David, stay there with me for the hour, please. I want to turn to David Barnson, who's been with me. He will be with me for this entire hour. You don't care about the debate and you don't care about the Fed, whether it's 25 or 50 basis points. You don't care. I do care about the debate because I'm a political junkie who's tried to not be and I can't help it. But I no care about our country. You don't it care about doesn't the matter for the market. No. no. OK. Not uh, even a little bit. And the 25 or 50 basis point cut for the Fed. They you priced don't care. it in over a month ago. The bond market has priced it. The stock market's priced it. 25 now, 50 now. It doesn't matter. I've said it on your show at least half a dozen times. Market doesn't care. So what do you care about? <laughs> <laughs> Last I checked, that's what stocks are, a measurement of profits. So everybody write this down. Profits matter. There so we go. I should look at big tech and the future profitability. And the and price you have to pay to buy those profits. And it's as simple as that. It's absolutely as simple as that. And I'll give you one more thing. Go. The portion of the profits companies give back to you. We call oh, it dividends. dividends. <laughs> but I don't buy stocks on the basis of dividends unless you've recommended a really good stock with a high dividend that's going to go places, which you have done in your time. Yes, I have. It's what we do for a living. And it's what I think most investors should do is focus on cash flow. So they're not caught in this trap of caring what the next news headline is, the, how a debate went, how a, uh, a particular story plays out, trying to trade around that stuff. It's a fool's so, errand. But we got addicted to these huge gains you could make in big tech over the last few years. You get addicted to that. You're not looking at four or five percent dividend yield. Who cares? Yeah, well, that's true. So if somebody is addicted to something, they should never get rid of the addiction. They're always healthy and it never ends badly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, that isn't true. Oh, stop it. Come on. We, you walked into that one. I did. I walked into it, but I have done very well on big tech, making yeah. very big gains, and I'm, ad- I'm not addicted to that. I just want to see that kind Investors of Investors cannot invest on in the rearview mirror what just got done happening and the stock market is a story of games going away very quickly. You know, if you're not careful, Bonson, you will be back on this show. Yeah. You'll have to suffer with me for the entire hour. I have a hunch. <laughs> Big events happened in the past 12 hours. Kamala Harris had a good debate, and Taylor Swift endorsed her. Boom. She's got momentum. So, <laughs> DJT is way down. It's right near its record low, and if you look at the volume, it's pretty actively traded. Okay, now here's one more thing that David Bonson, two more things that David Bonson doesn't care about. Both of those DJT things I just said. Oh, oh I'd, invest, I'd invest in Taylor Swift if I could. That would be a great investment. She pays no dividend. Well, <laughs> believe me, she pays the dividend to herself. I promise she you that. She causes inflation no. in right, some of the countries she performs in. Quiet on the set. Let's get serious. Uh, <laughs> check the financials, please. Yeah. J.P. Morgan issuing some kind of warning. What well, is it? We had a major decline for the financials yesterday and there is no bounce back today. Yesterday, JP Morgan's president said their net interest income next year will fall even with lower rates and their expenses will rise. JP Morgan's up 42% over the last year after the drop yesterday. The reason why declining rates hurts JP Morgan more than other banks is because they're not paying big interest out to their depositors. They don't have to, and yet they lose some of the higher interest money. So the margins come down a little bit. JP Morgan is the greatest run bank in the history of the world. Now, there's a statement. I mean it. And how do you feel about their CEO? Yeah. I'm a big fan of Jamie Dimon, and I think he's done a wonderful job, and it would be, it'd be hard to press to find someone who disagrees with that. Would you like to see him president? Um, and no comment. You were no. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Treasury Secretary, maybe. I, I see the words Novo Nordisk and weight loss drugs yeah. on my prompter. Therefore, I'm interested. They also finished early testing of the pill. Now I'm interested. For adults. 
Adults lost up to 13% of their body weight in 12 weeks. Pills are more expensive, though, because you have to put more of the active ingredients yeah. in them. I want it, okay? I want Will the pill. Will you pay for it? Yeah, absolutely, All I'll right. pay for it. So, Bonson's got a sour look on his face again. I never know if you're asking me about this because you think I need to be taking the <laughs> pill or for stock advice on this. Stock one. advice. Yeah, first of all, you don't need the pill, my friend. Second of all, um, it's impossible for investors like us to price that stuff because it's very speculative, it's very expensive, and again, the idea of a six-year-old taking it, it just intuitively makes me uncomfortable, but I don't know... Uh, it's phase one, very early. Okay. But if you, sorry, the thinking is in the medical community, if you can keep the kids leaner, you put off some of the problems that come up because of weight. Yeah, okay. I would think diet and exercise mm -hmm. might help. Here's another stock that you're really going to turn your nose up at and say, I don't care. GameStop. <laughs> Uh, they're down this morning. I guess it was a bad report. I'll make it quick. Uh, four straight quarters now of declining sales. What do they do? They sell, <laughs> they sell physical video games, but most people play online. But it's also a meme stock, gets a lot of buzz. Wedbush commentary is great. You might like it, David. They say, and I'm quoting, there's a total lack of any strategy to enter new categories with growth potential. But other than that, how was the play, Mrs. Lincoln? <laughs> okay. We've we got to move on. We've got to cover more stuff than this. Uh -huh. Prompter, scroll up. There we go. Thank you. Meanwhile, you brought us the dividend stocks, and you've got Molis. So Molis is an investment bank that just does deals. They don't have a big balance sheet like right. Goldman Sachs. They're up a lot this year. They pay 100% of profits out in dividends, and they have no debt. And we think M&A is coming back big. Even more deals get done as interest rates go lower. We like Molis a lot. Great dividend payer. Got it. Uh, blue, wait a minute. How much do they pay? Uh, over 4%, and they pay a special dividend once a year as well. I like that. Yeah. Blue Owl Capital. Similar story, just a different company, but they're doing a lot of the debt on these different deals that get done. They're a, a Wall Street firm here on Park Avenue and very much tethered to uh, lower rates, more deals getting done. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check the big board for you again because now we're down 366 points. There we go. 366 on the downside. Um, now, can you show me the Dow losers? I, I want to know where this loss is coming from. Do we have the list of the stocks? Which are the big name stocks in the Dow 30 that are losing so much ground that the Dow is down 350? At the points? open, United Healthcare and Goldman Sachs were down the most, and those are two expensive stocks. You look at United Healthcare is down ten dollars a share, but because the Dow is weighted by price, so the stocks that have a high price, them going down matters more. United Healthcare is bringing the Dow down quite a bit, yeah. and it looks like Goldman Sachs is as well. That's a four hundred and sixty dollars stock yeah, that's down. Go. That's a big di difference right there. Those are all gold. They're all the Dow stocks. Goldman is down there, and the Caterpillar is yeah. down again. S&P 500, winners. There are some. Albemarle, First Solar, Centene, Emphase, AES. The some of those S&P winners were green energy companies. Exactly. So I'd point that out. Might be related to solar. the debate. Thank you very much indeed. Do you think Trump should do a second debate? Well, he would have to do better than he did last night, but I want a second debate because I want one of these candidates to talk about $35 trillion in national debt. I want one candidate to talk about unfunded liabilities, Social Security and Medicare that we have no plan or ability to pay for. I want one candidate to talk about $2 trillion annual deficits. Do they want to wait till we get to $50 trillion in debt till we talk about it? $100 trillion in debt? At what point are we going to take this, the number one economic issue in our country, seriously? Tell me why the Dow is down 400 and whatever it is, 450 points? Um, well, partially because it had been up a thousand points over the last you know month or so, and partially because there's a couple companies that are disproportionately bringing it down. United Healthcare is about 150 of that 450 points. Mm. Uh, so there's some idiosyncratic things going on, but you know markets are volatile day by day. David, I want to thank you very much for sticking around for the hour. It was an absolute pleasure from beginning to end. Thank you for having me, my friend. I will be back. <laughs> I know you will. That's good stuff. <laughs>